What's up, you guys? Welcome to my podcast. Josh said that this one's going on my YouTube channel. We're going to talk about relationship stuff. Okay. Okay. We've been married almost eight years. So this is... It's um, not bad. Yeah. Go us. It's a pat on my back. <laughs> I'm going to just basically ask Josh a bunch of questions and then I'll probably answer my own questions. Well... So, so it'll be like normal. <laughs> so I have a lot to say. Yeah. I'm also bouncing the baby with my right foot. Like a drum <laughs> pedal. I'm a musician. Now, I don't know if you guys know this. I sang a song the other day. Josh has been auto-tuning it for... You're not supposed to tell people that. They're oh. just supposed to be wowed by your... Never mind. Scratch that. There's no tuning it's whatsoever. A surprise. It's all natural. I can't wait for you guys to hear my new <laughs> banger. It's good, right? Of course. Getting her to actually sing in front of me is something that took years. Like... <laughs> And now I'm a star. Now she so. won't, and now she won't stop. So yeah. now I'm a rock star. It's great. Yeah. My first question. What are <laughs> three red flags for like not getting into a relationship or just ending it or not even starting with it in the beginning, I guess. Right. Like three red sure. flags. Clarify for the viewers. What's the end goal? Mm. Is it getting finding someone to get married to? Yeah, probably okay. like a relationship, right? Like, I mean, I haven't been in a lot of relationships, so I feel like the whole point of being in one is to get married. Okay. So my first red flag is finding out if someone wants to get married or not. When you and I got into our relationship at the beginning, mm -hmm. we both knew someday we will get married to someone. I think a lot of people nowadays are like, if it happens, it happens. I don't know. I don't want to put a timetable on it. Yeah. And I don't know about all you guys. I don't know about you, but for me, I was like, fuck that. I'm getting married and I want it to happen in the next like five, six years. Yeah. And I was actively looking for somebody. Yeah. So I think that's actually a really big deal to find out, just, does this person want to be married like, ever? Yeah, does your goal- Whether it's this, you or not. Yeah, you know? does your end goal align or not? Exactly. Like, that's huge. I was not actively seeking and I did not have a timeline on yeah. when I was gonna get married. I mean, like, you know, when you're little, you have, you're like, I'm gonna be married by 25 and I'm gonna have 10 right. kids by 30. You know, you sure, have like a but, list, but it's not like for real. Yeah, but when I asked you, when we were getting to know each other, is marriage something that you're interested in down the road in general? Yeah. And you said yes. And I was yeah. like, cool, check that box, you know? Right, yeah. The second thing would be if there are really important values that you have, and you discuss these values with your partner and their values are wildly different. I'll give you a great example. One of our biggest core values is hard work, right? Mm -hmm. That's our, a family core value. And we didn't like choose values that we were like, this sounds good, let's try to live this way. Her and I were independently working hard without each other. That was something mm -hmm. we both did, right? Another one would be loyalty, right? Like. We were both kind of that way already, and we just figured out that those things lined up together and mm -hmm. were compatible that way. So let's say hard work was a, a, a thing that Haley was really into. She was really fired up. She was getting after it, whether it was CrossFit or a career or something, whatever, doesn't matter. Like she just has a motor and I'm the polar opposite and I just want to kick it all the time and do nothing. I'm very content with where I'm at. I have zero ambition like or, or anything like that and I just don't like to work hard. How long would that relationship have last? Oh, I mean, I wouldn't have even gotten into it. There you go. Yeah. So I would figure out like, what are the most important values to you? For some people, it's like religion. That could be a deal breaker. Like if you wanna have kids and you care that they grow up Christian or Jewish or Hindu or whatever, mm -hmm and your partner is diametrically opposed to religion right. altogether, that's not gonna work. Number three would be, do they want kids? Mm. I think that's a, a huge red flag. If they, if you if want, you are... if you want them or you don't want them and they are the opposite. Yeah. That is one. So those would be three, just like bare, bro bare bones deal breakers. Like yeah. if, if those three things, one of those three things is off, I would end the relationship. Or not begin it. Because, don't even start it. Yeah, it's, it's not worth your time. It's not worth know. their time either. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't know. Like, end it. I'm like, why even start it? I, I not even <laughs> lying. I went on a date with a girl years ago, and she was nice and everything like that. We had a discrepancy on something important like that. Yeah. It was like our first date, and she was like, oh, yeah, I kind of feel this way. And I was like, oh, yeah, I feel this way. And she, she asked me, she goes, is that going to be a problem? And I was like, 
yeah, I think it is actually. And you know, we just finished dinner and went our separate ways. It was pretty much like handshake. Okay, bye. You know, like. Yeah, that was uh, back in the day when Josh used to do some online dating. Yeah. <laughs> I've never done that because Wow, I would not. I just yeah. couldn't do it. It was pre Tinder. Yeah, I applaud everyone that does that because I it was like, like, like I just okay have like Cupid or something. They didn't have like the apps like they have. Yeah. You know? Oof, I just could never. I couldn't do it. I, like I can't. Yeah. I can't. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Here we go. A couple things that women are constantly seeking that they shouldn't necessarily be seeking. Good. That's a so, great question. Okay. Actually, a lot of. Women are constantly seeking people with money and they think that that will solve all of their problems. Right. So they're just looking for the rich guy that can take them to the nice dinner, that can buy him the nice ring that's like bigger than my like fist. And yeah. I think that's a huge mistake when you're looking at long-term happiness. I'm pretty sure most women are looking for but shouldn't be looking for it. And I guess it yeah. kind of ties back into your red flags of like having a motor or not. Like someone yeah. with a motor is someone you can grow with and you can do things together as a team. And so it's not one-sided and you can do things that you're passionate about and then make money that way. It's actually a lot more fulfilling. I don't know, I just know that like money is something people are constantly like, and it does make things easier and it does make sure. life easier. Cause I don't want to say that it doesn't. Right. But, but there, I mean, there's plenty of rich people that are unhappy yeah. and there's plenty of poor people that are very happy. Yeah. So I'd say that. And then I would say looks like, <laughs> I think looks are very important. Yeah. But some people are just looking for that. Yeah. So they will be like dumb as rocks. Yeah. or they aren't funny or they can't dance or when you take them out in a public they can't carry a conversation like people literally are like he needs to be hot that's true well, you need to be attracted to them yeah yeah, yeah. Sure. like i'm yeah. not saying that's not yeah. true what i'm saying is that people need to dig a little deeper sure. than just looks because looks do matter and i'm not gonna sit here and say they don't because yeah. they do yeah but yeah i guess that's another one yeah is there another thing I think that there's a lot of there's a lot of people that have some sort of hole in their life. Many times it's a hole left by dad who wasn't there. I don't think women should be looking for a partner that is meant to fill that gap. They shouldn't be looking for someone else to make them whole. Oh. Yeah. Does that make sense? Like one of the reasons why this works, I think, is because I was pretty content being independent. You were pretty content being independent. When we got together, it wasn't like we completed each other. It was like we weren't two halves that make a whole. We were two holes that make something new. Yeah. That's what the marriage is. The marriage is the something new. Right. Yeah. And it's better than anything that we could have done on our own. But we would have been okay on our own. Does that yeah. make sense? Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of times people are looking to their partner to heal them, soften rough edges from the past or whatever it is. And I don't think that's a wise way to enter into any relationship. So... Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, that would be one. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's a good, le like, kind of segue. Uh, well, you, she's getting on me for her. <laughs> George, make sure my mics are taken care of. She's over here just, like, slap boxing it. The baby's sleeping. Do you steer clear of someone that comes with a lot of baggage? Not necessarily. It depends on what the baggage is. It depends on what's going on. Okay. Well, I came with a lot of baggage. Sure. Yeah. So I guess the answer I, I is I dove no. in with both. I, I dove in head first, baby. Okay. We can save my baggage for another episode because <laughs> it's a lot. So no, I, I would say no. Okay. Um, but what I will say before you put your two cents in. I got I got five cents. Yeah, I'm sure you do. We, but what I will say is like, do you think it's best to, so say like I came with baggage. Yep. Is it best that I'm maybe seeking someone that doesn't come with as much? or any really for that matter. Say- it's a good question. Someone goes into a, a relationship and I guess this goes to red flags. You know, I come from a broken home. This guy comes from a broken home. Is that gonna work? Like if- It can. A bunch of, like everyone's coming from a broken home and is that is that the pattern that's gonna keep going because I, you're I, both I, coming from brokenness? I No, I think it can. I think people can change the course of their life. 
They can change their family tree. They can change their stars. The number one thing that I would look for to answer your question is you need to find someone who not only can change, but is willing to change. And I think that was the, one of the first things that I noticed about you was that when we started dating, there was these small moments that we had where we'd either get in a fight or something would happen. And, and one of us would be like, this needs to alter. And it wouldn't be like an overnight change or something like that. But you could tell that the person who was being asked to make an adjustment was trying mm -hmm. and that's enough. You know, like it was just being like, okay, they're actually trying to change course here, you know? Yeah. I also think it does help if you are someone with baggage to look for somebody who doesn't necessarily have to be there, but is also chasing a higher standard, a higher standard of living than where you came from. And that can work both ways. I'll give you an example. So Haley came from a broken home. I did not. And I had a firm understanding of what a healthy marriage looks like. That's what I wanted. I expressed that to her. I want to be married. I want to be happy. I want to have kids. This is what I want. And she was like, yeah, I want that too. So that helps. On the flip side of things, I looked up to her because she was a very healthy person. Like she ate really clean. She's never drank. And I was really impressed by that. And I was not living that way at the time. Over time, I've definitely shifted in that direction. I don't drink anymore and stuff. Yeah. But like there were things about her that were further ahead from where I was and there was things about me that was further ahead from where you were yeah. and we helped each other grow in that in those directions yeah. at the same time. Does that make sense? Yeah, no. And I guess that's what my point is, you know, is that just because someone comes from a a past of suffering doesn't mean you can't join forces and create something new. For sure. And two things that keep us together this long are number one, a shared history. We were talking about this the other day. It's like We've been married for eight years. We've been together for 11, mm -hmm. something like that. I think it's like 11 years yeah, almost. Yeah, I think it's like 11. Yeah. And so- Wow. I mean, look, I, I, I'm <laughs> wow. like 36 and I'm just like 11 of those years I was with Haley. That's a big chunk of my life. Mm -hmm. And it, eventually there's gonna come a point to where mm -hmm. I will have been with her longer than I was without her, you know? Yeah. So you guys grow together. And that's really important thing. If you, as long as you find somebody that's willing to grow yeah, and not stuck in their ways and they're just set in their ways all the time. I just, mm -hmm. I don't think that's a good recipe for success. Yeah, cool. It's a good place to end. I that. think that's a good place to end. Um, <clears throat> we can go more into the brokenness later. All right, you guys, thank you for watching or listening. All right, guys, we're gonna close it out um, and <laughs> we will hit you back up next week for some more uh, marriage advice. Let's try again. <laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and close it out. I hope you guys enjoyed it. All right, guys, thanks for joining us. We're gonna make more content. We're gonna put it out and then you can watch it. So be on the lookout for that and we'll see you there. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and close it out. <laughs> lock it up. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and lock, lock it up. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and lock, lock it up. up thanks for watching. Stuff that I wanna talk about. Thanks for watching.